Hello once again, I'm excited that you are joining me in yet another episode in this series that we are working on the beginners in web design. So based on what we've already covered, we've done WordPress installation, WordPress configuration, plugins, we've already done that one. We talked about domains, hosting, we talked about that. We talked about how to work out uh, uh, and fix issues with PHP on your WordPress uh, site. We also addressed issues about um, page builders and we are focusing on Elementor at the moment. We've talked about how you can work with template kits on your website so that you can be able to uh, customize it to meet the brand expectation that you're looking out to for your clients. We've worked on all those uh, videos and if you've missed any of them, please go back and watch those episodes. So from where we left at, we left at uh, working with colors. We've done styling for the site. Now, you might be asking yourself, okay, now I've done all these things. Uh, one question, how can I change this information from to fit whatever I want? So this is very simple, very simple. What you've done is 99%. What is remaining only 1%. And that 1% is changing the content. So as I said, when you open before, when you open any site here in Elementor Editor, for example, you are in home or about or service and you want to edit any of them. When you select home, which we are here at the moment, and you select edit with Elementor, it will bring you to something like this. Let me just close this one so that we can do it from a fresh, a fresh page. So edit with Elementor. It will edit, it will open your home page in Elementor Editor, and then you can be able to change the content. Content, I mean the text. Content, I mean the media. So if you have photos that are in there, you can change them. If you have uh, text from the profile or portfolio or wherever you can, you get it in from, you can also change it. And how you know that you can change it is like this. It's already opened. Uh, I don't know why it's loading so slowly. So it's already opened. Now you can see just by selecting, you will see that there is, you know, boxes over here. Now, how you can do that, when you hover over this, you will see that there is those boxes that is showing you you can edit. For example, find a doctor as per your needs. When you just right click on this one, edit, heading. See, this one, this information is already here. You can see, find a doctor as per your need. So you just change it. You can put it like, we have professional doctors. Doctors in every field. So that is, for example, information that you would like to put it there as the heading. When you select this other one, automatically it opens another window here. So another box here, so you can change all this. Just like the way you'll do it in Microsoft Word. Very simple. And then here there is something called button. This button has effects. For example, it's a call to action. Okay, we have doctors. And then now here, you can put it like call to action. View more, read more, or view all doctors. So when you select this one, you'll see that it has the name here, view all doctors. And then there is a link. So because we already have a link here, see how it is. Just go to doctors section and then copy this URL and then go back to this uh, editor on your homepage, remove that, that uh, hashtag and then put the link there. So that when somebody clicks this, it will open this page. Also, I've seen something here, you see, doctors above here, there is that doctors. It's not supposed to be there. I think we had a mistake when we were doing this. So how you fix that is so simple. Just edit with Elementor so that it can be able to open. And by the way, on the same same computer, you can open various multiple pages and edit them at a go. Just one, then next, and then it helps you to work faster. And you can be able to, if you have the content ready, it's a, it's a, it's a matter of copy-pasting, copy-pasting, copy-pasting. Because I believe when you're doing 
a website, you must have a content read somewhere, prepared in Microsoft Word, the profile of the organization or whatever you're, you're doing, and then copy and then just paste it there. So now we've opened it, uh, you go to this cogwheel here, settings, bottom left corner, the last icon, select it, and then it will open. It will open this window, uh, this, and this option. Just go to the last one, which is page layout, as you can see. It's on default. Select Elementor full width. When we are creating the page, remember the step was put the title, go down there to the page layout, and then select the, the type. So we put it Elementor full width. If you miss to do that, you can as well correct it from here the way we are doing it right now. So then update it. You see that doctor is already bye-bye. So go back to this hamburger menu and then try to, okay, stay fast, let it finish updating. View the page, select view page, and then you'll be able to see that that doctor is gone. So you can see the home page is done, everything is here, the website is ready for you to work on. The website is ready for you to actually, um, it's done. It's not a difficult thing. As you've seen from the previous episode that we've done until this particular last one, we've learned a lot and I would love for you to subscribe to this channel so that you can also continue producing more, like more such kind of videos. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in future videos on other topics like this or different other avenues that we also work on.